Actress recognized for her performance in American Graffiti and who was initially diagnosed with breast cancer in her 50s after battling skin cancer in her 30s. After a protracted battle with cancer, actress Suzanne Somers passed away. Her career included five seasons on the 1970s TV sitcom Three's Company, a Las Vegas review show, a part in American Graffiti, two autobiographies, four diet books, a book of poetry, and a stint as an exercise equipment spokeswoman. She was 76 years old. According to Summer's publicist, Arkuri Hay, the actress passed away early on Sunday morning. Suzanne Summers died quietly at home on October 15 in the early hours. For more than 23 years, she fought off an aggressive form of breast cancer, he added. Less than three months after her 46-year-old husband reported that her breast cancer had returned, the celebrity's death was announced. After suffering skin cancer in her 30s and hyperplasia in her 20s, Summers was initially identified in her 50s, he claimed. Over the summer, Summers said to Entertainment Tonight, I continue to bat it back every time that little fucker pops out. I try hard not to let this sneaky illness rule me. She played blonde in T-Bird in the 1973 film American Graffiti, which was directed by the future Star Wars director George Lucas. Afterwards, she recalled that she didn't know who Lucas was and that she nearly left the audition early to park her car. In the entire movie, I said just three words. I love you, Summers said. I worked on it in the mirror all day. Yet, the role was helpful for Summers since four years later, she was chosen to play a dumb blonde who fit the era's stereotype in 100 episodes of the popular sitcom Three's Company. However, she challenged this typecasting in 1980 when she wanted a five-fold pay increase from ABC and 10% of the show's profits. Summer skipped some programs while claiming to have a fractured rib after the network refused. Her episode length was reduced to just 60 seconds by ABC, and she was later let go. Summers filed a $2 million lawsuit, claiming that her demands were no more than those of well-known male sitcom stars. She later starred in Step by Step, another popular sitcom. Summers started out as a performer in Las Vegas in the 1980s before becoming the brand spokesperson for the fitness equipment company Master. She also entertained Americans serving abroad. She admitted earlier this year that she had declined a role on The View because she didn't want to relocate from California to New York. A day before her 77th birthday, Summers reportedly passed away in Palm Springs, California, surrounded by her family. They will celebrate her wonderful life rather than her birthday. According to Hayes, and they want to express their gratitude to her countless admirers.